listening to the Romania International. Focus on Romania. This is Radio Romania International broadcasting from Bucharest. Traveler's Guide. Welcome to Traveler's Guide. We are Mihaila Ignatescu and Eugen Nasta. Romania is one of the largest salt producers in the world, boasting a long tradition in the field of salt exploitation. Salt mines are an increasingly popular tourist attraction, as the curative properties of salty air have led to the emergence of speleotherapy and climate therapy, underground treatment procedures unfolding in caves and salt mines. Today we invite you to take a tour of some of Romania's most famous salt mines. We start our journey in Târgu Okna, Bacău County. The exploitation of salt in its current form started in Târgu Okna a long time ago, around the year 1967. However, tourism took a fresh turn in the region as of 2005. It was the year when the St. Varvara Church was put to good use, says the director of the Târgu Okna salt mine, Ilie Ion. It was rebuilt in 1992 within six months, based on a project developed by the employees of the Târgu Okna salt mine. Back then, it was a unique monument in Romania, as well as in the whole of Europe. If tourists want to see it, they should descend 240 meters underground, where our tourism and leisure facilities are operational, on a surface area of 13,000 hectares. We offer perfect conditions for relaxation, and to all those who want to stay fit, we also have courts for mini football, basketball, lawn tennis and table tennis. Visitors can also undergo treatment for respiratory conditions. A salty water lake and a waterfall successfully complete a breathtakingly beautiful scenery. For children, we laid out playgrounds with cradles, toboggans and rocking chairs. Furthermore, for the little visitors, we brought over some arcade machine games and snooker tables, we try to create some areas for mini bicycles, and we intend to set up an area for skateboarders and roller skaters. The Salt Museum is also available to visitors, the director of the Târgu Ogna Salt Mine has also said. At the museum, we put on show interesting objects illustrative of the genesis and evolution of salt exploitation and processing. We make available detailed information on its therapeutic values, giving tourists the chance to admire interesting exhibits, which stand proof of the impressive past of salt exploitation in Târgu Okna, with a tradition dating as far back as 1380. Throughout the years, visitors from all continents came over to visit the place. Everybody is deeply impressed with what they see. Very few tourists have had the chance to visit a salt mine before. And we have several such places in Romania, which are of high interest for foreign visitors, who are very emotional when sharing their impressions. I had the chance to talk to some Japanese tourists, for instance. We had a conversation by courtesy of an interpreter, which was unable to render the visitors' emotions, but I saw the expression on their faces and the sparkle in their eyes. Now we invite you to northern Romania, to the town of Kachika in Suchava County, a place first documented in the 18th century. The Austrian administration opened in Kachika an intensive and effective salt exploitation. The salt was manually carved in block-shaped pieces, and the first exploitation chamber was built at a depth of 27 meters. The exploitation per se started around 1817. Ioana Croitoriu, guide at the Kachika salt mine, has more. Kachika in Polonia means rață. A fost un teren lăștinos cu multe Kachika means duck in Polish. There used to be a swamp area here, a habitat for many wild ducks, hence the name given by the Poles. According to experts, we have salt reserves here for another 500 years. Exploitation started in 1791. We have a small Orthodox chapel with sculptures in salt and an artificial lake at a depth of 38 meters. Salt crystals are forming around it. 
There is also a boat on the lake which was used by the miners to take their children or grandchildren on a ride in their leisure time. We also have a ballroom for balls and parties. It bears the name of Agripa Popescu, who was the first director general. Then there is another level, 75 meter deep, which used to serve as a maturation storeroom for cheese, thanks to its constant temperature of 10 degrees. Now there is a sports ground there for those seeking treatment for asthma and other respiratory conditions. There are also playgrounds for children. We make our last stopover in Transylvania. Given that some of the old towns and villages here are dating back to the year 1100, Pride is quite a young settlement, first documented around 1564. However, Pride is the largest commune in Hargita County. In spite of the beautiful landscapes here and the quaint settlements, the place is best known for its salt mine, which is actually a genuine underground town. According to the latest data released by the administration of the Pride salt mine, the number of tourists has risen by 35,000 this year as compared to the same period last year. The daily average of visitors is between 3,000 and 4,000 people. According to Sebrodi Zoltan, the director of the salt mine, the underground landscape is impressive. A bus will take you 1.2 kilometers down into the salt mine, about 100 meters below the surface. From there, tourists are taking the stairs, about 240 flights, to reach an old room, which is the starting point of a 600-meter tunnel network. These tunnels are 20 meters wide and 14 meters tall. These are impressive dimensions. Roughly 80% of the tourists come from Hungary. The rest are from almost all European countries, and we've even had groups from Asia and America. That was Traveler's Guide.